Now, this was a rather difficult question and perhaps the most difficult question of this particular slot. So, in this case, Ankita buys 4 kg cashews, 14 kg peanuts and 6 kg almonds, right. So, let us write the quantity first. So, cashews, peanuts, almonds. So, 4 kg uh, cashews as the right quantity here, uh, 14 kg peanuts and 6 kg almonds. Now, she is buying it at some cost price. What is the cost price? It has not been given to us directly. We have been told that the cost of 7 kg of cashews. So, when C quantity of cashews are purchased or C is the cost price of each uh, kg of cashews, let us say, then 7 C will be the total amount spent on 7 kg cashews. Will be the same as 30 kg peanuts. Let P be the price per unit of 1 kg of peanuts or price per unit of peanuts. 30 kg into P will be the cost that would have been incurred in purchasing 30 kg of peanuts. Similarly, 9 almonds. So, 9A will be the total cost price, A being the cost per kg of almond, right. So, this is basically what is consistent. Now, she mixes all the 3 nuts and marks a price for the mixture in order to make a profit of 1752. Now, that is a really uh, odd number to look at. So, let us see what happens in this case. Then what she does is, she sells 4 kg of this mixture at this mark price. So, till here, everything is going fine. And the remaining at a 20% discount on the marked price, thus making a total profit of 744 rupees, right. We have to figure out how much money did she spend on buying almonds. Now, in this particular context, 7C plus 30P, uh, 7C equals 30P equals 9A should be equal to some number which is a multiple of 730 and 9. The smallest such number that I can think of here is 630. And in this context, we can say that the cost price per unit of cashews will be 630 by 7C or you can say 90, uh, 630X, let us say for example. So, 90X. 30P is equal to 630X. So, we can say that P is nothing but 21X. Cost per unit for peanuts is 21X. Similarly, in terms of almonds, 9A equals 630. So, almonds will be 70X. Now, the question asks you the amount in rupees that she had spent in buying almonds. The amount that she had spent in buying almonds is 70x. So, basically or 70x into 6 is basically what we are looking for. So, 420x has to be our answer. Now, again a leap of faith that you can take in this particular context or say that okay, we are trying to purchase something at 70x. It has to be a multiple of 6. It has to be a multiple of 7 that kind of a thing. If you look at the options, you have 1680 and 2520 is the only viable options. So, at this point in time, if you have nothing better to do in life, this is the only thing that you are talking about, you have reduced the chances of getting it or you have increased the chances of getting it right to 50-50 or reduced the chances of getting it wrong to 50-50, right. So, this is basically what we can go for. But again, uh, you will have a lot of time to solve these questions if you would have uh, done uh, the other questions efficiently. So, let us go ahead and see what exactly happens, right. So, in this case, we have been told that she marks a price for the mixture to make a profit of 1752. Now, let us say again, I, I come up with a different variable. Let us say she marks it at K rupees per kg, right. This is the marked price per unit. So, what is the marked price for this entire quantity? 4 plus 14 plus 6, that is 24 kg. 24 K is basically the marked price. What was the cost price? 90x, 21x, 70x per unit. So, the total cost price would be 360x, 21 into 14 will be 280 plus um, uh, 14 that is 294x and 70 into 6 will be 420x. Adding all three of them, so 360 plus 300 let us say 660 plus 420, 680 plus 400, 1080 minus 6 is 1074. So, 24k minus 1074x would have been equal to 1752 because that is the profit that is being made if the mark price is set at some value. She sells 4 kg of this mixture at this marked price, right. So, 4 kg of this mixture is at marked price. Mark price was K rupees per kg. So, 4 kg would be 4k, right. And the remaining at a 20% discount on the mark price. So, remaining is 20 into 0.8k because K is the mark price, 20% discount will give 0.8K as the mark price. Now, this basically when subtracted from the cost price gives us a profit of 744. Now, by using these two equations, we can eliminate X entirely, we can simply figure out K. So, if I subtract the second equation from the first equation, 24 minus 
फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी इंटू पॉइंट एट दैट इज सिक्सटीन सो ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी विल बी नथिंग बट फोर के इक्वल्स सेवनटीन फिफ्टी टू माइनस सेवन फोर्टी फोर विच विल बी वन थाउजेंड एंड एट राइट सो सेवन फोर्टी फोर गोस अवे फ्रॉम सेवन फिफ्टी टू यू लेफ्ट विथ एन एट वन थाउजेंड एंड एट सो दैट टेल्स अस दैट के इज नथिंग बट फोर टू जार एट ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव जार ट्वेंटी एंड फोर टू जार एट so the uh, the mark price at which she sold the mixture would be 252 rupees per kg we have to find the amount that she had spent on buying almonds which is 420x i need to find the value of x i found the value of k life becomes much easier now because we have two equations that have been given to us in the form of sum k into sum x the only problem is 1074 times x but we can deal with that as well again you have to take a leap of faith you know that the answer is going to be either 4 or 6 because 16 80 25 20 are the two numbers that we are targeting but it's okay to not know that as well so in this case 24 into 252 have plug it in the first equation minus 1074x will be 1752 you can do it in the second one as well it's not a problem at all whichever way you like you can do it now we will get 1074x equals 24 into 252 minus 1752 Right now we just need to figure out whether one seven five two is divisible by twenty four or not. So you have to just figure out whether it is divisible by three uh, and eight. So seven plus five twelve plus two fourteen plus one fifteen definitely divisible by three. Seven fifty two by eight eight nines are seventy two thirty two is left eight fours are thirty two definitely divisible by eight as well. One zero seven four in this context if you look at it again seven plus four eleven plus one twelve divisible by three for sure. 074 is not divisible by 8 right so that might make it slightly painful but then again we need to find 420x so we can we can just stay put and see what happens to the other part of things so 1074x in this context will be 24 multiplied by what uh, 252 as it is minus 24 sevens are 168 and we are left with 72 so 24 threes are 72 So we now have one zero seven four x equals twenty four into two fifty two minus seventy three, which is one seventy nine, right? Now one zero seven four one seventy nine twenty four. Now we already figured out that one zero seven four is not divisible by twenty four. Now can you make something out of one seventy nine and one zero seven four? Again, nine, some number that ends in nine needs to be multiplied by something to make it end in a four, right? One seventy nine into what ends in a four? That is one question that you can ask yourself. Into six will basically be the answer. So what is one seventy nine into six? Seventeen sixes are one zero two. So one zero two zero plus nine sixes are fifty four. So one zero two zero plus fifty four gives you one zero seven four. So one seventy nine into six is one zero seven four x. Six x is twenty four. So x becomes four in this particular context. What is the uh, amount that she had spent in buying almonds? Four twenty x. Four twenty into four will be nothing but sixteen hundred and eighty rupees. So the correct answer here is option one. That is sixteen eighty. Yes, it was a difficult question. There is a lot of calculation involved, lot of numbers that are there. But if you are comfortable with numbers, you will be able to answer this question properly without hesitating for even a moment.